First, let's take a look at a quick overview of the horse's skeleton. There are a couple of points of interest that are specific to our focus today. The first to note is that the neck vertebrae are at the base of the neck, not the middle or the top. For the second, the front limb attaches to the spine with muscle only. And the third is that the hind limb attaches to the spine at the sacrum. Rather than a how-to on development, the purpose of this list and video is to show where to look for the purpose of developing your eye for tension in the horse's body. The upcoming clips are used to show a tense top line contrasted with that of a relaxed top line. They are not meant to show collection, but the basis for all work and riding to be built upon. This first video shows an inverted posture where you will see the tension in the top line holding the back down. Take in the whole horse while you are watching. What do you notice about the front end, the back, the neck, and the hind end? In the second video, a relaxed or released posture is shown where the head and neck have dropped allowing the back freedom to start swinging as the hind foot steps through up and under the belly. Again, get a sense of the whole horse. What do you see about the motion in the body? What about the length of the step? Maybe you can see a difference in the muscle tone through the whole body. This list is rather extensive and not all these changes will be seen in this mare. She has not been hollow for extended periods of time, so she won't, for example, have a dip in front of the wither or a break in the upper neck. She is not fully developed yet, so she will show such elements as a drop belly due to lack of musculature. Other elements such as a drop in the base of the neck will be seen to change between the two posture examples. Upcoming clips are duplicates of the first set, but this time they have been edited to have the main area of the head and neck and the front end of the horse blurred out. Again, this first video shows an inverted posture where you will see tension in the top line. Now, what do you notice about the posture? Can you tell the horse is inverted from just the hind legs? Look to all the areas that you can see. Are there things that are more obvious now? Changes in the muscle of the top line that are highlighted? Maybe a clear difference in how the height and length of the hind step changes? Now let's watch the second video again. It is the same clip as the previous, showing a relaxed or released posture where the head and neck have dropped. What can you tell from the hind leg now? Is there a difference in the back? What about the lumbar area and the reach of the hind foot? Maybe a change in the swing of the belly, the motion of the hawk, or even a tipping of the pelvis? Here are two screenshots from each of the contrasting videos. Looking at the same areas, we can see the major areas of change in the neck musculature, the back tension, the tension pulling the shoulder down towards the sternum, the weight-bearing position of the inner hind limb, and the shape and positioning of the pelvis. Now that we've gone over the skeleton, both sets of clips, both blurred and unedited, and have an idea of things to look for, let's watch one more time. Again, these are the same clips, but mixed with edited and unedited footage, as well as slowed down. Now what do you see? Has it changed from the first time you saw the clips? Are certain things more clear?
And now for the last video. Again, watch with a relaxed gaze what has changed and what has become more clear. Are you able to take in more of the horse now at once? Can you see certain clues to body posture that you might have missed before? Like I started off the video, we can use all the different areas of the horse's body as almost a cheat sheet to fully evaluate our horse's posture. We can look to the hind foot to check into the back if we're unsure if the horse is fully stepping through his body. We can look to the head and neck to see if there's any clues that give us that the horse may not be working in a healthy posture. We can look at all areas of the horse to double check ourselves 